dead meme. All right, back with stationers. We're going to answer one question. Why am I constantly getting oxygen warnings? I'm going to show you how the atmosphere system works, how the filters work. So our helmet is up. And if we look at the atmosphere in the room, it's not purely oxygen. There's a couple of things in here. Um, all of this is pretty much safe levels. That O2 is very high. Don't ignite a welding torch in here. It will be a sad day. So I'm going to move on to the EVA suit and set up for it to show you how to prevent yourself from suffocating. All right, you probably remember something from science class. See, 100% oxygen and pretty much all nitrogen, like 20% 20, uh, 20 oxygen, roughly 80% nitrogen. That is close to Earth's environment. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the pure oxygen. We're going to put it back in the environment suit. And the helmet is down. And we're going to cycle into the vacuum. And there we go. Pressure's dropping. All right. No warnings. Everything's looking good. So let's examine the situation here. Pure oxygen. The only filters I have are CO2. So this canister had the nitrogen in it. Let's put it in there. And it won't take long. And I'll eventually get a warning. So I'll skip back to that when it triggers. All right. So I've triggered an oxygen issue. So let's quickly throw this nitrogen filter. And as you can see, the problem went away. So because there's nitrogen in this tank, I'm going to cycle back in to show you so I could take all it off my helmet and all that stuff. Waste tank caution. Oh, there's another fantastic example. Another issue that can cause breathing is this canister here on the waste side. So we'll take the helmet off. This canister, uh, basically every time you exhale, it's collecting that environment. And because there's nitrogen in my breathing tank, I'm going to need this filter. So let's pop them out. Air tank critical. Waste tank critical. So there's the air tank. Oxygen, nitrogen. I got a, an oxygen warning for breathing this environment too long without a filter. If we look here, this one is the waste tank. This is what I was breathing out. So you get actually a fair amount of waste uh, component. Uh, we'll have O2 in it. So you could build a system to recapture that. That's a video for another time though. So just so that you understand that if you choose to breathe anything that isn't just oxygen, you must have the corresponding filter to handle that gas. So if I only have oxygen, I only require the CO2. So just keep that in mind. Let's move on to the next thing. All right, so we're in a test room. This is a room that we've pressurized. And if we look in here, nitrogen gas, oxygen gas within safe mixtures. But notice the temperature and the pressure. They're not quite where they should be, especially the temperature. You could live in that pressure. Uh, you'd do okay. But here is another thing to be concerned about. Temperature critical. The oxygen temperature low. is too cold to breathe. Low. So too cold or too hot, in a, even in an, a, a, a tank, will cause a problem for you and an environment. Even though these conditions are safe, but the temperature is just too low. So let's move on. All right. And so the temperature of this room is rising. We've installed a little portable heater. Some things to keep note. As temperature rises, so does the air pressure. So if the temperature goes down, the, the air pressure also drops. So like I haven't done anything to this room beyond increase the temperature. And as you can see, the habitability is improving. So when I get a little bit closer to uh, Earth's environment, I'll come back and show it to you. All right, and we're back. So we've hit a relatively safe temperature. Um, I'd say 80 kilopascals is usually pretty safe. Let's open up the helmet and see what happens. There you go. And so as you can see, this room, which was deadly to us when it was negative 25 degrees, it's perfectly fine. I better turn this off before it turns into a sauna in here. So basically, I think that covers the majority of temperature and pressure and filters. There's one more thing to cover. 
we'll head to that now. All right, so the very final thing to cover, this is not well explained in the tutorials. If your setup is proper, you're, dr you're breathing only oxygen and you have functioning CO2 filters and your waste tank is, is uh, not full, the temperature is good, everything is right, but you're still having issues. You're still getting oxygen warnings. You need this medical pill. More than likely, your lungs have been damaged. And basically, you get these with the um, with the drop pod that you come in. I think you get two. I can't remember exactly. So try to solve all the other problems first. Troubleshoot all the other things before you use this, because getting another one of these is a little bit of a uh, little bit of a journey. It's not like really really hard, but in the beginning of the game, it's just not going to be available to you, right? It's not going to be an option you have for an easy solution. So before you consume something that is hard to replace, troubleshoot the other things. Make sure that your filters are right. You're filtering out any gas in your in your oxygen tank that shouldn't be there or in your in your in your intake tank that shouldn't be there. Make sure that the temperature is right. You're not breathing negative 20 degree air. Make sure your waste tank is empty. Make sure you you have the correct filters. So, and then move on to see if it's damaged lungs. One other prime indicator of damaged lungs is you hear a lot of strange wheezing and whatnot. So hopefully that stuff's helpful. Uh, if there's something I missed or need to cover, just say so. Throw it in the, in the comments. We'll uh, we'll pin it, you know, and we'll, we'll uh, advance uh, people's knowledge and understanding of the game. And if this was helpful, if you want to like and sub and, you know, maybe tell someone about it that um, maybe having some issues, like share the video. That'd be pretty cool, but uh, thanks for showing up. See you again later.